What's going on guys, came on here. So today I'm gonna bring you guys the updated version of my Synchron deck. People have been waiting for this deck for a while and I got y'all bro, it's finally here. So this is gonna be my take on it. So like for the standard players or the like competitive players, like you need to understand like Synchrons play differently from like a meta deck. You know what I mean? So if I play like a certain card that's weird to you, just know it makes sense in a Synchron based deck. I gotta turn on my fan. Hot in here. Hot like this deck profile. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the main, the extra, and the side. Um, let's just get into it, bro. This is uh, gonna be a quick one, I feel. Nothing too crazy. Um, just know I'm still messing around with like ratios in the side deck in here, but like, yeah, let's get into it. So, start off the three ups, three junk synchron and three Stardust Synchron. This ratio will never change. Well, I'm lying. Once we get the freaking new stuff that's coming out in a couple weeks, you're probably gonna play Junk Synchron at two, more likely, but I don't think Stardust Synchron would ever be played at two. Well, maybe you could play these two at just two each, but I don't know. Definitely, you could play Junk Synchron at two each, but I'm, I'm not sure about Stardust Synchron. I think he's, he's too good to be played at two. So playing him at three is just fine. So yeah, these are the main three. These, if you guys didn't know, Junk Synchron is actually my favorite tuner ever. I still have my secret ones from the uh, legendary set, Duelist, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, these guys went to the price. They're like, what, like 13, 20 bucks each, I think. Something like that, something like that. I don't really, I don't take the price, you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> so yeah, you want to play these at three at all times until the new stuff comes out. So three and three. Uh, Stardust Synchron, a uh, does most of your combos for you and uh, it helps you even if you get nib. Oh, also We do not fear nib in this deck anymore. Like we don't care about nib. So therefore you don't got to run any of the bricks Nib doesn't really affect us anymore like that. So even if we get nibbed, we're just like, okay Anyways, you know what I mean? <laughs> now for the other three of us the best monsters three doppel warrior and three junk converter and I actually put in my one of my favorites three mathematician right so we know what these these six do math man he's yo like he's so good in this deck now and the fact that we have assault synchron it makes this deck so much better than like what it is right so much better i'll, I'll, I'll i'm gonna explain some combos and like mathematician is su such a such a good starter now so like your only normal summons now are Mathematician, Junk Synchron, and Synchron Carrier. But Carrier, you can normal summon again, so I guess I guess I don't really count him. But yeah, you only have two normal summons now in this deck, so Junk Synchron or Mathematician. You see either one of these, and like your plays can go even further beyond, you know. So I'm gonna explain how he's really good in here and um, why you play him because he's he's level three, right? And our new guy that we have which is Assault Synchron. We also have two Jet Synchron for the two loves. Uh, Assault Synchron level two. So usually, if you see these two in hand alone, this is a full speeder, because you can go normal summon Mathematician, effective Mathematician, you can send to Graveyard. If they Veiler this, if they Imperm, or if they Ash Blossom this, even better, right? Because you want to use him as like a bait. And if they don't, you get a free dump. So you can dump anything you want, like a Jet Synchron, another Assault, you can literally dump Stardust Synchron or Doppel Warrior if you really want to. Anything. You have a lot of you have a lot of choices. So, anyways, you normal summon that petition, effect send, activate assault synchron, summon, give up, save out 700 life points. Synchro these two. This is a two, this is a three. That makes a five. So you can make speeder off of that. So that is why we are running the three math petition. Math petition, in my opinion, is a very, 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 very good card in here. But again, once we get the new stuff, this build will change a lot. But uh, yeah, just some of the main targets are, you can send a Salt Synchron if you need to. Jet Synchron is a really good target. Stardust Synchron, an underrated target is also Doppel Warrior, my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the three ofs and the two ofs. And now we're gonna get into the one ofs. Uh, let's see. We're playing the one Synchron Carrier, the one Caligo Crow. We are playing Ringo Worm. I wanted to put him in here, bro. I love this card. One Ringo Worm and the one Trail. Uh, Ringo Worm is another target you can send 
off of your mathematician and uh this can help with combos in the like later game bro like this this card is pretty crazy and it's like you only want to play one of this even if you draw it you can still summon it off of its own effect because you control tokens so doppel warrior makes tokens and trails also makes a token too so this card is, is always live no matter what you know what i mean so therefore yeah so you'll you'll usually most likely send this well depending on your hand but like if your hand is good enough to play through interruptions you'll send this off of your map petition or your foolish bear or whatever either way this card's pretty goaded in here and the fact that we can finally actually play it without worrying about oh, I, I gotta draw on the scene you know what i mean and he can help synchro climb for you which is very 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 important in my opinion and then it's trail because trail is part of the combos that's anti-nib so that's it for the main deck monsters now for the hand traps uh i'm running three ash and i'm running three valor this is a synchro based deck so i wanted to run more tuners that 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 were hand traps i'm running this over uh imperm because we're actually not running herald anymore i'm running a better card over herald and two this is a like uh valor is really good because it's a it's it, it's a light and it's a, it's a level one tuner, right? So the fact that it, it's a tuner, we can sit in with uh, with a converter. Like these two are still live with your uh, converter in hand. And the best part about Valor, you can bring it back with your uh, where is he at? With your XL Singer, because this is a this is a level one. So uh, Valor has has a lot of like implications in this deck that I do like. Hence why I'm trying it out. Also, Valor is not once per turn. So if you draw it into like two two copies. You, you, you can use double Valor if, if you really want to. And as y'all know, Synchrons, we draw a lot of cards each turn. So yeah, three Ash, three Valor for the hand traps. I feel like you have to play some sort of hand traps because the meta calls for it. <laughs> now for the spell cards, uh, only six searchers, uh, triple tuning and triple on your market set duel. Uh, just got to show off my ulties again, bro. I love this card. Um, I'm not playing Overtake because uh, Overtake re requires you to play stuff in the extra deck that kind of takes up room. And the way I have it set up, you don't really need to do that. Overtake is a very, very, very good card. But if I played Overtake, I, I got to take out three more cards in the, in the main deck. And like the only card I can think of is like Mathematician, but then that kind of like defeats the whole purpose of it. But yeah, I, I, I like having just these six. Or just any Synchron Tuner, or just any Synchron Monster. So... With this, you have three, six, uh, eight, nine, uh, six, eight, nine, ten. You have ten targets for tuning, and for this, you have eleven targets because you can search this out also. So yeah, just I think these two are the the best. I remember back in the day when I played Overtake o over this, but now I'm playing this over Overtake because like we have so many, so many more targets that we can do. Plus. Milling off a certain card is really good. Like if, if you mill off like a freaking Ringo Worm, or if you mill off a freaking um, Doppel Warrior, that's that's super huge and super good. So uh, just these six for here. Your Market Set Duel is such a phenomenal card. I love this card. Too bad it's a continuous because if it was just a regular, you better. Now for the one ups, the one Rota, the one Reborn, the one Foolish, the one Illumination, and the one Call by the Grave because. You want to stop those <laughs> those hand traps, aka a good time Ash Blossom hurts, uh, Imperm hurts. No, nope, can't stop Imperm, but yeah, Imperm hurts, Valor hurts, all that stuff. Drog slows us down, but we, we can still keep playing. So, but yeah, just in case you do want to hit the Drog. Anyways, like this card is still super good. As if for the minute, that is a solid 40 cards. I counted, I did it, I did it, I did it, 40 cards. Uh, let me know what you, th what you think of the main deck. Uh, Assault Synchron. Bro, he he opens up so much, so many doors for us now in this deck. It's so crazy. Like this card is so good. So if you guys don't know what he does, I didn't even explain it. So I'm I'm going so fast. If you guys if you guys don't know what he does, uh, essentially, you can summon him to your field by giving him by, and if you do, you lose seven seven hundred life points, right? Uh, while he's on the field, you can only summon sicker monsters while he's face up on the field from from the extra deck. His main effect, if he's in the graveyard. If your Dragon Synchro Monster is banished or tributed while he's in the graveyard, you can banish this to summon it back to the field. So the stuff in our extra deck plays a really, really, really big part in this. And like it makes this 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 card so good, so live, and like 
we extend like there's deck, like there's no other, bro. So, yeah, Assault Synchron helps this deck out tremendously, dude. Now let's go on to the extra deck, extra, extra, extra deck, bro. Uh, got the cool to uh, the tool the cool field center, and the nib token, Synchron token, and the two Doppels and the three Yusei tokens. I got these, all of these from from Etsy. I got this from a vendor like years ago for like two dollars each. I, sh I should have got all of them, but I didn't. But yeah, just um, yeah, little tokens. We still play the nib token in case we, we do get nibbed, but like I said, nib doesn't stop us anymore. Like I promise, I promise it doesn't. Extra deck, extra deck, extra deck. Uh, so if you guys do know about synchrons, you know the hardest thing about the deck itself, not the main deck, but the extra deck, fitting stuff in here. Because, like, everything has to work with everything else. So, like, whatever your style is, whatever you're comfortable with, that's how you get stuff to go. So, anyways, getting to it. Uh, one formula and the one double star shaman for level twos. I decided to put formula in here because we do play, uh, like, a, a bigger package in here of cards that we can summon on our opponent's turn and whatnot. And, like, just making, like, a big dragon or a big board is super important. And formula synchron helps with that tremendously. And, like, there are many times where... I don't want to summon this because I have no level twos, but so I want to summon the formula instead, just so I get that extra draw. So usually I'll, I'll summon this while I have I have a library on the field, then I'll I'll draw twice. Plus with the um, with the uh, what's his name, Starter's Charge Warrior, you'll you'll draw three times off of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think formula is really good. I think he'll be seeing play again when the new stuff drops, aka. Revolution Synchron, everyone wants that card, me, me included, all that stuff. So yeah, just those for level twos, level threes. Uh, Metal Marcher, Metal Marcher is part of the extension and how you draw more cards and get other stuff too. So one Metal Marcher. And for the four, we are running the Cupid Pitch. I took her out at first, but then I realized like, yo, she helps so much with the like extension. You know what I mean? Like she's so good. Like the fact that she can manipulate her level burn you and then you, you could search out your caligo crow it's so good definitely play keep a pitch in here until we get to the new stuff i feel like including this these are going to be like standard for like little guys you go into formula is really good though so i'm going to test them out a little bit more but i like it a lot for the fives uh xl speeder the boy and tg hyper librarian because yeah I wasn't playing this at first, but then I put it back in last second because I'm just like, yo, I feel like some of the stuff that you can send to modulate his level is is, is is worth it. Plus, he he's a dark, so you can make Chaos Angel a lot easier. You know what I mean? So, like, the the more dark and lights that you, you, you have, the better. You know what I mean? And this, this is a light. This is a light. This is a light. Dark, dark. You know what I mean? So, like, Chaos Angel in this deck is super good, in my opinion, at least. Uh, for the sixes, Whew, pardon me. Uh, the one Charge Warrior because still a good card. Um, I think I'm still gonna play Charge Warrior over the well. See, the new level six has its ups and downs because it's still a Charge Warrior. The only thing it has over Charge Warrior is it's a it's a light type monster. This has the Stardust name, so uh, Illumination can actually affect this that's about it though but I, I don't know i might try out the, the the like new guy over this but so far charge warrior still good for level sixes uh for the eights stardust dragon assault stardust and the crystal wing for the only level eights i took out omega to put back in the excel my thought process with omega was since, since we are playing the despacito dragon i summon omega i banishes it banish itself summon out dragon bring it back banish again so then you you lose cards, but I like to bring back other stuff. But yeah, these are in here. These two will never change. But when the new stuff comes out, you're probably gonna cut Crystal Wing. Like I know, like that that sounds crazy, but like the new stuff opens up so much more for for this deck. It's insane. So, but for right now, we're only just gonna run these three wind <laughs> for the eights, for the tens, uh, one Baron one Dispeater, and the one Chaos Angel, because these are the best level 10s in the entire game. 
and uh, the fact that you can summon all of them in one turn too, if you have if you have like the right proper hand, you're good to go, bro. Baron to negate. Despacito negates and brings back your banners light and darks, which is really, really, really good. <laughs> like, and uh, Chaos Angel, because Chaos Angel, getting past this guy for some decks is just nearly impossible. So, the last card we are running, we are running the one uh, Blazar Dragon. Blazar is pretty good because um, the fact that we're running a formula in here plus this, plus this, plus this, like, you have four cards to climb into this you know what i mean so it's like why not just run this card bro it, it's a good card and also like the best part about it is he banishes himself for for cost so whenever you do do that <laughs> do do whenever you do do that um your where the heck is he here it is your assault synchron does actually trigger believe it or not because what he'll do, he'll banish for cost to negate something, right? And then when that resolves, your assault synchron, banish itself, summon it right back, and you can do it again. Because this, cause believe it or not, his effect is not once per turn. Because, you know, he's off the field, so how can you do it again? But when you summon him again, you can do it again and again and again. So, yeah, just... <laughs> Salt synchron makes this deck a lot more reliable, in my opinion. And, like, if they kaiju you over this, Assault synchron, bring it right back. You know what I mean? Like, it's super good. As if for the extra deck, now for the side deck. The side deck is pretty much just going second, it's board breakers. Going first is just you can't really play Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's my mindset behind this side deck. So we got the cool token. You know what I mean? Nah, sorry. The cool field center, sorry. The Ultimaya Zoken. I love this card. This, this is so cool, bro. Now for the side deck, uh, I am siding three Dark Ruler No More because... Um, Breaking boards in this deck is not, like, the hardest thing ever for this deck. But Dark Ruler definitely makes it easier. And, like, I don't have to, to, to kill you this same turn. I use this. I can just set up a really, really strong and good board that you can't pass or break. Then I'll just win on my turn again. So, like, either way, Dark Ruler did, did its job for me. So, three Dark Ruler uh two lightning storm and the duster because back row kills this deck pretty frequently so i want to have something for said back row and or monster removal best combo in the world as you go dark ruler into lightning storm man <laughs> pretty good so yeah just these uh next i'm citing three evenly matched because this card's pretty good bro this card's pretty good you go Dark Ruler, then you can go Evenly Matched or Lightning Storm. No, yeah, you can go Dark Ruler, then you can go Evenly Matched. Have, have him leave like a Spell Tracker, and then you, then you go Lightning Storm. You know what I mean? Like, just stuff like that is pretty good. Or Dark Ruler, then Lightning Storm the freaking back row. I don't know. Either way, Evenly is still pretty good. <laughs> and uh, the last six cards I am running, uh, these six cards are to, to help me kind of like control the freaking board and make sure you can't get get past my my, my board because like even um dark ruler hurts this deck a lot so i wanted to actually side anti-spell and i am siding synchro zone if you guys watched my sword so video y'all see how i hyped up this card and i still think it's, it's really good it's even better in this deck because you can synchro summon during your opponent's turn and you can make you know a blazar etc etc if they get rid of your stuff, you'll bring it, bring it right back. And yeah, so like, imagine, right? Imagine like you just have just these two here, right? And you're staring at like a Blazar with like a Baron and a Despeater. It's a Chaos Angel and like a Crystal Wing, which you can summon all of these, by the way. Like, it's not like a, you can't summon like, like no, you can summon all of these in like one turn. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, impossible. <laughs> That's the power of Synchrons. But, like, imagine this plus an anti-spell, and you flip this up also. So if they were to, like, I don't know, tribute one of these, you know what I mean? You can, you can bring it right back. So, yeah, like, or if, if they go the d d Divine Incarnate card, you they'll, they'll tribute, like, one, two, three, right? One of them is going to come right back, and you can bring back, I don't know, like, Blazar so they, they can't attack you. 
But yeah, like, Synchro Zone's really good, Anti Spell's really good too, so. Uh, yeah. That's gonna do it for the Decker file, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, etc., etc. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Have an awesome one. Peace.